the James Webb Telescope may have just challenged the Big Bang Theory, marking a significant advancement in cosmology. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021, this telescope has exceeded expectations, shaking up our fundamental beliefs about the universe. What mysteries is it unveiling, and what fate awaits our universe? Join us as we explore the structures and galaxies recently detected by the James Webb Telescope. Venturing over 13 billion years into the past, we glimpse a young universe believed by many scientists to have originated from the Big Bang. However, alternative theories, such as the steady-state universe and the bouncing cosmology, offer different perspectives on the universe's beginning. The plasma or electric universe model suggests a role for plasma in cosmological events, influencing the formation of celestial bodies. Despite the popularity of the Big Bang theory, new data challenges some of its predictions. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, designed to unlock the universe's secrets, is at the forefront of gathering this data. With its unparalleled vision, it has astonished scientists in just a year of operation, revealing ancient galaxies that defy our previous understanding. For instance, astronomer Rohan Naidu made a groundbreaking discovery from his home, finding a galaxy dating back a mere 300 million years after the Big Bang. Named Glass Z13, this discovery caused global excitement, highlighting the telescope's capabilities in uncovering cosmic mysteries. Situated far from Earth's interference and cooled to near absolute zero, the James Webb Telescope is poised to unravel the secrets of cosmic dawn. By studying ancient galaxies, scientists aim to confirm existing models or forge new paths of understanding, potentially shedding light on dark matter, dark energy, and the intricate interactions within the cosmos. The telescope's early observations have already defied expectations, revealing older, larger, and brighter galaxies than anticipated. This unexpected revelation has sparked excitement and urgency among theorists and observers alike, prompting a rush to study its implications. The discovery of unusually mature early galaxies by the James Webb Telescope raises questions about the accuracy of the initial observations and challenges our standard understanding of the universe. These findings have the potential to reshape our perception of cosmic history, impacting not only distant eras and galaxies but also our existence within the Milky Way. Mark McCoffrian, a scientist involved with JWST, emphasizes that these machines are designed to challenge paradigms rather than confirm them. The telescope's purpose is to push boundaries and potentially overturn established theories, reflecting a commitment to exploration and discovery. The groundwork for JWST's revolutionary capabilities was laid decades ago at the Space Telescope Science Institute in 1985, during the peak of the Hubble Space Telescope's reign. Visionary astronomers, including Garth Illingworth and Ricardo Giacconi, recognized the need to envision a successor to Hubble that could overcome its limitations. Hubble's inability to observe infrared light, crucial for studying distant galaxies, spurred the development of JWST. Equipped with a massive mirror optimized for capturing infrared emissions, JWST's technological advancements, including its sizable mirror and sophisticated sunshield, enable it to observe faint celestial objects with unprecedented clarity and sensitivity. Its capabilities were put to the test during the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey and the Grissom Lens Amplified Survey from Space, which aimed to explore galaxies in the early universe. However, the telescope's early observations surpassed expectations, revealing extremely distant galaxies much earlier than anticipated. The discovery of these early galaxies challenges astronomers' preconceptions and underscores the transformative potential of JWST in reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Despite the surprises encountered, the telescope's ability to capture detailed images and gather crucial data opens new avenues for exploration and discovery in the vast expanse of space. The early emergence of mature galaxies detected by the James Webb Telescope has startled astronomers, defying expectations and challenging our understanding of cosmic evolution. Initially, researchers anticipated that extremely distant galaxies would surface after multiple data cycles from various programs. However, to their surprise, these galaxies appeared right from the beginning. The previous record holder for the most distant known galaxy, GNZ11, was identified in 2015 at a redshift of 11, corresponding to a cosmic age of approximately 400 million years. However, the GLASS program's initial data revealed GLASS Z13, boasting a redshift of 13, approximately 70 million years older. This unexpected find hinted at a galaxy remarkably bright and massive, challenging existing theories. Subsequent discoveries from programs like SUERS and GLASS unveiled galaxy candidates with estimated redshifts as high as 20, merely 180 million years after the Big Bang. What's even more astounding is the presence of disk-like formations in some of these galaxies, a feature not expected to manifest so early in cosmic history. 
these rapid and massive galaxy formations contradict predictions made by the standard lambda-cold dark matter model, which describes the universe's evolution and the role of dark energy and dark matter. The emergence of such large galaxies challenges the model's expectation of a slow and orderly process. Cosmologists like Michael Boylan-Kalchin explain that even under ideal conditions, galaxies of this size wouldn't form so early after the Big Bang, suggesting a gap in our understanding of cosmic evolution. While significant progress has been made in understanding events after the Big Bang, the period preceding it remains a profound mystery. Follow-up observations of glass Z13 using the Atacama Large Millimeter Slash Submillimeter Array in Chile provided valuable insights, indicating that the galaxy may not be obscured by dust as initially speculated. However, Alma's challenges in detecting the galaxy highlight the complexities involved in confirming observations made by the James Webb Telescope. In light of these discoveries, researchers are reassessing their understanding of cosmic evolution, confronting the possibility that existing models may need revision. The James Webb Telescope's groundbreaking observations offer a glimpse into the universe's early history, prompting a re-evaluation of our fundamental beliefs about its formation and development. One contentious idea circulating in the scientific community is modified Newtonian dynamics, which challenges the concept of dark matter's existence. Mond suggests that the gravitational effects attributed to dark matter could instead be fluctuations in gravity on a large scale. While some scientists, like Mordechai Milgram, support this theory and speculate that JWST observations may align with it, others, like Stacy McGaw, remain skeptical about Mond's explanatory power. Another proposed explanation for the unexpected brightness of early galaxies is the absence or minimal presence of dust. This could cause galaxies to appear brighter than anticipated, throwing off calculations of their true masses. Andrea Ferrara suggests scenarios where dust might not have had sufficient time to form or could have been expelled during the initial phases of galaxy formation. Caitlin Mason and her colleagues offer an alternative viewpoint, suggesting that JWST might only be observing the very brightest young galaxies. This theory proposes that certain galaxies are predisposed to form stars more readily in the early universe, making them easier to detect. David Spurgel, a theoretical astrophysicist, proposes that magnetic fields could have played a significant role in initiating star formation early in the universe's history. Combined with higher gas pressures and temperatures, this could have created an environment conducive to rapid star formation. The flood of scientific papers stemming from JWST's initial observations was no coincidence. Astronomers were prepared and eager to analyze the data. Instead of waiting for traditional peer-reviewed publishing, they shared their findings on platforms like AR14, fostering real-time discussions on platforms like Twitter. This rapid exchange of ideas led to intense scientific scrutiny and debate. However, caution is warranted. Calibration issues with JWST may have affected some results, necessitating potential recalibrations of data. While these recalibrations may not negate all high-redshift galaxy observations, they imply that the early universe could be significantly different from previous assumptions. These surprises underscore the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry and the ongoing quest to understand the universe. Finley Stein highlights the urgency among astronomers to conduct follow-up observations using JWST, with numerous proposals vying for additional observing time. Projects like Cosmos Web, led by Caitlin Casey, aim to expand our understanding of early galaxies by searching a broader stretch of the sky for hundreds of hours. Yet, the search for understanding doesn't end there. Other projects aim to uncover evidence of the universe's first proto-galaxies, perhaps through the study of massive early star deaths or supernovae. Some even speculate that JWST could peer as far as a redshift of 26, a mere 120 million years after the Big Bang, offering tantalizing prospects for unlocking the mysteries of cosmic origins. However, the quest to understand what came before the Big Bang remains a challenging and speculative endeavor. The cosmic dark ages shrouded the universe in a hydrogen fog, obscuring the light of the first stars and galaxies and making it nearly impossible to see beyond that time. Even before the formation of stars, the universe was predominantly dark, with dark matter, which doesn't emit light, exerting its dominance. This era presents a formidable barrier to understanding the universe's origins. Stephen Hawking's theories push the boundaries of our understanding, including his exploration of the period preceding the Big Bang. His no-boundary proposal, developed with James Hartle in 1983, envisions the universe's shape as resembling a shuttlecock, expanding smoothly from a point of zero size. In this model, time plays a revolutionary role, with each moment representing a cross-section of the universe's expansion. Events before the Big Bang are deemed indeterminate, suggesting that time itself initiated at the moment of the Big Bang. 
Hawking's approach, influenced by Richard Feynman's methods, utilized a wave function derived from quantum mechanical calculations. He later delved into holography, treating spacetime as a hologram in an effort to deepen his understanding of the wave function. Collaborations with scientists like Neil Turok continue to explore cosmological models echoing Hawking's no-boundary proposal, envisioning a universe with sections resembling an hourglass. Another theory suggests that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything, but rather a transition from a contraction phase to an expansion phase. This bouncing universe concept views the universe as an endless cycle of expansion and contraction, an idea that has gained traction with the identification of mechanisms that could prevent the singularities predicted by the Big Bang theory. As researchers continue to gather data and refine theories, the James Webb Telescope's revelations promise to reshape our understanding of the universe's origins, leading to new insights and perhaps new cosmic mysteries to unravel.